First impression that comes to my mind, I need to work out more. Low weight, hyper naked bike not only can go fast, it reminds you if the bike can be in shape, why don't you take an extra mile? It feels so light, so tiny and so small. Surprise! It's actually wickedly fast. Honda comes with a higher price tag than the rivals. But when it comes to performance and tech, nothing can touch it. Honda called this bike Neo Sports Cafe. But we think there is more sports than anything else. My name is Dennis, this is for Chicago News, so shall we take it for a spin? This machine likes to go up. No matter when you pass five, six thousand RPM and you go full throttle, it likes to pop up wheelies. First couple of days when I was getting used to the bike, I thought it's absolute wheelie machine. Nothing less, just a wheelie machine. After 6000 RPM, it's very fast. You get all the power and then you stop with ABS in a moment. I gotta say, riding more and more Honda motorcycles, you get more and more appreciation to the way how they build their ABS systems. It really helps you to stop being worried about the bike and enjoy the ride. When you need it, ABS is gonna be there to help you to stop. See, it does like to go fast and it likes to stop, which is very important part on a leather bike and especially on a hyper naked one. When it comes to the hyper naked bike, you look around and you think Kawasaki Z900, Honda CB1000, the list goes on and on and on. But hyper naked is not about styling. You're obviously looking for something fast, something reliable, something fun that you can take it through the canyons or ride it daily. You are talking about this retro stylish look, which I think personally more like a futuristic, not like a retro. Anyways, nothing too crazy besides show suspension, very beautifully done ABS, traction control, LCD screen this very good exhaust setup and obviously this beautiful Bridgestone tires. 190 tire on the back allows you to sweep the corner. Enjoy the moment. It sounds like those good tires supposed to wear but not as fast especially on the middle. Downshift with a quick shifter is beautifully done. When you try to upshift you have to roll the throttle all the way down. I don't get it, it should be so easy like a downshift. But it's fast, it's really fast. A couple of things I really don't like about this bike. Well, even though we like the screen, we like the way that it's been designed, we like the way it presents the information, even when you're going through the sunny spots when the sun gets behind you, this shift light popping up whenever it's like 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I don't know, every hour. And every time I'm splitting the lanes on the highway, I'm really focused to stay safe. This light popping up to tell you this is six o'clock. Come on, riders want to be safe and focused. Another thing I want to mention, a couple of times I found myself trying to get this kickstand up middle way. It getting stuck for some reason. To finish up the story about the things I really don't like, I really don't like the mirrors. They doesn't tell you much information and sometimes on a hyper sport bike with the very slick mirrors you get more than with this one. So few things you want to consider. Those tires are really good but they wear fast. Those mirrors are not the best by any possible means. And this kickstand something that you can live with. The gear shifter works a little bit different than most of the bikes. On most of the bikes you have to pull it at least halfway. While here look you barely touch it. The most important part about this bike, if you are a bigger, heavier dude like myself, you might realize it's not so comfy to hold your knees against this tank. So if you're a bigger person, I would highly recommend you to try this bike before you buy it. When it comes to steering, man, it goes. It feels right, it feels good, it's properly quick. All of those electronics really do help you a lot 
when it comes to the aggressive acceleration, braking or going through the spots like this one. It's got really upper higher body position. So when you switch in the bikes and purchasing something like that after you've been riding super sport, you will probably notice there is not much plastic to hold the wind down. The good side of the story, when it gets really hot and warm, you can just enjoy yourself because most of the people will be hiding behind the windscreens while you get all the air in this world. This is your control knob that allows you to switch the mode. It also allows you to see more information like your average gas mileage, your trip computer. Oops, I hit the wrong one. And this is something that I want to point as well. Your horn is almost touching mode. So when it comes to do something on the go, you may find yourself scaring other people. <laughs> I want to talk about the seat. This bike is absolutely terrible when it comes to carrying the passenger on the back. It's more designed to keep your butt in place. And carrying the passenger is more like something that you have to plan to do once or twice during the entire ownership. What I really like about Honda CB1000R and all filter sits right on the perfect spot. You just twist it, get the oil out, put the fresh oil in and you're good to go. There are a couple of more things that I have to mention. This is so easy to wash. Tell me any other bike that will be easier to wash. I mean, when you think about practical perspective of this bike, you can do things like washing and oil change on the go. You can literally get things done in a moment. And that's what I really like about this bike. It sounds beautiful when you're pushing it. It's a beautiful machine when it comes to learning. Yes, it's a thousand cc bike, but having so much technology, different riding modes, you can keep the power down just a little bit so you can learn, you can adjust the mode, you can pick something that fits you and get it going. Traction control works also as a wheelie control. So when you dial the traction control here all the way up, you also get wheelie control. So if you are getting on this bike, you don't know the power, you have to teach yourself, learn and explore. Honda wants you to enjoy this bike, that's why you got this riding modes. Man, it's fast! First gear is really hungry and torque. So on this road I do prefer to stay in the second or third, just simply because it goes. Na, 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 na. It handles well, it handles beautifully and this suspension set plus tires, probably something that does most of it, because you feel it, you sweep through the corner, you exit right, it feels right and it feels good. Look, you can cruise around 6th gear, 45, 50 miles an hour, you stay under 4000 RPMs and it allows you to be as comfortable as it gets. It goes smoothly, it goes quietly, it doesn't bug you in terms of the noise, but as soon as you reach like 6-7 thousand RPM, exhaust opens up and bike just pulls and goes up to all 12 thousand RPM. Speaking about this futuristic headlight, it does the job, but sometimes you are wishing for a little bit more. Especially when you're getting back from Canyon Road like this, sometimes you can get on some darker spots, so you can really notice a little bit of lag in terms of the headlight brightness. It looks beautiful when it comes to styling, but I do wish to get a little bit more brightness. I don't really like this seat. I wish to get a little bit more cushion out of it, but hey, I'm not perfect. I'm always asking for a lot. And this is a hyper naked, so it wants to carry less weight. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful road, and it's a beautiful bike to ride. <laughs> yeah, this is an ultimate wheelie machine with the most advanced tech. It can be raw, it can be smooth, it can go fast or just cruise around the town. It could be your door to the world of super sports bikes where you don't have to be scared. This is all about Honda CB1000R where you get all the fresh air of this world and unforgettable experience.
Yeah, it's pretty high. If you don't want to jump somewhere in the middle of the canyon, better subscribe now. Be the first to watch all the newest and coolest bikes and cars as soon as they come out.